we're going to make a classical cheese sauce using bechamel as a base. So we're going to have one quart of bechamel sauce. It could be room temperature, cold, hot, it doesn't matter. This one, we just made it here at school. It came out excellent. We're going to use this bechamel sauce. For one quart of cheese sauce, of a bechamel sauce, we're going to add eight ounces of extra sharp cheddar. Uh, it can be substituted with any cheese of your liking, but this is the traditional uh, Escoffier method of making cheese sauce. We're going to have a half a teaspoon of dry mustard and two teaspoons of Worcestershire sauce. I call it W since it is a big tongue twister. Mix all your ingredients together. Uh, depending on your taste, you can also alter the amount of cheese in there, but this is the way classically it's made. You want to heat it up to a simmer to allow all the cheese to melt, and we're going to put on the stove right now. Over low heat, we're going to bring this sauce back to temperature. Make sure you do not boil it. Even though it's completely sa safe to boil it because the roux will stabilize the milk and the milk will not break apart. You don't want to scorch the sauce at the bottom of the pot. So just keep it at medium heat and stir it once in a while. So our sauce has been on medium heat for about 10 minutes. The point here is just to melt the cheese and melt all the flavors, the sauce is cooked, and cheese basically has to melt. Although I already previously tasted the bechamel sauce and it was the way I wanted to taste, always taste your food. It doesn't matter how many times you have cooked it, it doesn't matter how many times you have done it, always taste your sauce. It has a nice consistency. It has a nice consistency and the consistency I want for the cheese sauce to be. You can strain the sauce if you like to. It will give it more of a velvety appearance. At this time I think the sauce is perfect the way it is. that's the proper consistency of your cheese sauce. Nice nappe consistency. Now this one's going to be a little bit thicker than your regular sauce, but it's still, it's a nice thick sauce. And that is your classical cheese sauce with bechamel base.